Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you two brand new photo editing features that you're able to do on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Now there are two caveats to this. Number one, you have to make sure that you have Samsung One UI 8. And number two, you have to have the latest version of Galaxy Enhance X. This will bring those two brand new features. Now what's crazy is that here on the Galaxy S25 Ultra, this one is running Samsung One UI 8, but it is beta four. And for some reason, these two features are not showing up with the latest version of Galaxy Enhance X. Now, originally on this phone, I did have Galaxy Enhance X, and also on the Galaxy Store, it stated that I had the latest version. But as you can see here, the latest version is actually 16.0.0.1.8, which was uploaded on August 6th. So I downloaded this version right here, and for some reason on the beta, I do not have those two features. So let me know in the comment section below, if you do have Samsung One UI 8 and it's on beta, let me know if you see these two features. And if you don't see it, I believe we will see it very soon because also more devices are joining the beta program starting this week on August 11th. So I created a video talking about all of the phones that will be expanded with beta in which countries, and I'll place that video link below this one inside the description if you'd like to watch that video. But stay tuned because this is still gonna help you out whenever you get the official launched version of One UI 8 with these two brand new editing features. First off, head over inside of your Samsung folder or wherever your Galaxy Enhance X application is. And let me show you this. I will prove to you that these are the exact same versions. So right up over here, uh, if I take a look at the version of this app, and again over here, let's say we go inside the Samsung Gal Galaxy Enhance X, take a look at this one about the app. You can see that they are the exact same version, but for some reason, the two features I wanna show you today does not work on the S25 Ultra with beta, but it works on this one over here, which is the full official launched version of One UI 8. So the two features we'll talk about today, one of them is right there, it's called Focus Shift. And then the other one is called Increase Resolution. So the first feature I wanna show off will be that focus shift. So I have a photo in here and it looks really good. Uh, it's actually one that I took where there was like no portrait, there was nothing going on. I wasn't focusing on just what was right there. So everything is just being captured. Everything is within the focus. And so what you can do is you can shift the focus. So for this one, I can make either the background in focus or the foreground in focus. So you can see here, it switched it to where the background is in focus, and then now we switched it to this. So it's super fun that you're able to change the perspective after the fact. So when you take a photo and everything is in focus, you didn't do portrait mode or anything, and everything is just sitting there, this is where you can change the focus and then also how much of that effect would you like to you know have on it so if i was to bring it down to let's say two or three you can see it just a little bit in the background but if you really want to get that thing blurred after the fact uh, this is where you're able to change it and then even if you want the foreground to be super blurred out then this is a uh, kind of the opposite effect of what some people do now when you go with this one and then you tap on done then this is where you can hit on save. This is also where you can take a look at the before and after. So you can see right there just how much work is getting into this photo. Uh, again, super cool. And again, you get to see that it's just really blurring it all out. And you can watch all these lines, all of the corners, all of the edges of this little jellyfish right here. And everything is just perfect. So when you take a look at your before and after, you can also tap on the image so you can get a bigger you know, shot of it. Uh, then this is where you go up and you can hit on save. And now on to feature number two, and this is where you're able to increase resolution. So what I did here was I took a picture purposely at the worst resolution possible, just so I can at least show a good demo of this working. Uh, if you take a look right up over here, you can see how bad these lines are, especially around that camera. And then when you take a look at this cable right here, you can just see how zigzaggy it is how unclear it is in the background. Uh, I know that this phone right here looks a little funky. This is the Galaxy S25 Edge in a Galaxy S25 Plus case. Very close to working perfectly. Uh, it does fit inside of there, all the buttons and everything all lines up, but it just looks a little funky right there. And because it's thinner, there's a lot more bumper on the front uh, that's giving more protection to the screen. But anyways, that is uh, that picture there in case if you are questioning it, but this is where you can increase resolution. So again, I purposely tried to bring this resolution down, but what'll happen is that if you try to crop into an image and you zoom all the way in and you go to like a corner and then you save that, that's bringing your resolution down. So you can actually 4X this image. So if you happen to have any 
you know, low quality images or you zoomed in, you cropped, you did whatever. And if it is just not that good of a resolution, this is how you're able to change it. Now from back here, you can tell a little bit of a difference. This is the, the before and after, but how about we actually zoom all the way in and let me show you. So you can see here the difference with this camera sensor. So swiping left and right, you can see how pixelated that is and how clear it is there. Now, this is where it really makes a big difference is on this cable that's back here. So look at that. You can see those lines of what it used to look like from before and then what it looks like now. So again, this is what it was looking like. This is what you got it down to, or I should say up to, because you are increasing the resolution. Uh, and then that, you know, the plant that's over here. Yeah, so much more clear. So if you happen to have a photo that you have cropped, or you have compressed, or you just randomly took it at the worst resolution, this is where you're able to increase the resolution uh, up to 4X. And then right up over here, you just hit on save. So what that means is that you'll have two images that look very similar, just one is gonna be better quality. So this one right here, when you take a look at what we just got done editing, this one's eight megapixel, 2400 by 3200. So if we go back a screen here, we take a look at this one, this is gonna be super small quality. So 600 by 800, 203 kilobytes. Now, if you take a look at the what we did with the, with the jellyfishes and such, this one's gonna have the exact same information. 12 megapixel, you got 4,000 by 3,000, uh, like 1.66 megabytes. Again, if we take a look at this one, this is gonna be that, uh, it's actually a little bit bigger. So 1.9 megabytes, 4,000 by 3,000, so 12 megapixels. So all the resolutions and everything will be the same, but because we have just a little bit of edit in there, there's gonna be a little bit bigger of a file. But that is how you're able to use those two editing features inside of Galaxy Enhanced X. And now for a bonus feature that I wanna show you, especially if you've never played with Galaxy Enhanced X yet, you definitely should. So inside of the Galaxy Enhanced application, this is where you just choose your photo or video. And there is actually more downloadable features if you'd like to use them. So you have camera shift and sky guide. Camera shift kind of changes the shift of the angle of what you shot a picture at. So if you took a picture too fast and it wasn't perfect, you can actually change the, uh, the camera angle on it. So with this one here, I'm going to go to this image. And one of the things that I was playing with on this, I was actually just playing with all of these things. You can go through all of this right here and you can do like colorize. So if something was kind of like black and white, you can actually kind of add color to it. Uh, you have quick fixes and you have a whole bunch of really cool things that is right down over here. Now, one of them that I want to show you is that you can make a picture look much better if you feel like there's a little bit of haze going on. So this looks like a really good picture, but when you take a look at this here, it's going to increase uh, what I think the quality and I think it just looks a little bit better so it kind of darkens a few things everywhere uh, but when you take a look at even the hair I think it looks really good as well so there's nothing that is being like messed up or whatever but there's kind of like this this like haze almost kind of like maybe I touched my camera sensor and it kind of has a little bit of oil on it or something or maybe the sun is is bringing in just a little bit too much light from my camera sensor and it wasn't really taking the best shot. So this is where you can remove a little bit of haze if you would like to. Uh, but again, I just wanted to show this because I wanted you guys to see an additional thing other than just the two features. And I wanted to show that you have all of these options down over here. You even have an option for magic. So it's just gonna use AI to do whatever it thinks is best to create the best uh, edit of a photo. And again, anytime that you hit on done, it's going to be saved inside of your gallery that you can either use or not use, keep or delete, whatever you want to do. You will have the original photo and also that edited photo from Galaxy Enhanced X. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.